Hello guys, PooSMC here. I was looking up some information and I came across a forum where a guy was saying the Magmatic Dynamo used in combination with the Lava Generator would produce infinite power. I have to say this one is busted. And I will show you how I set this up real quick. Let's go there. There. Agmatic. Okay, and then we have piping coming in. Now the way you have to get this started is with a bucket of lava to begin with. One bucket of lava there. Okay, so we are at 970 going up and down and it slowly works its way down. Uh, the reason being is the lava generator takes more power to produce the lava than it than this can output. So as you can see it is up down up down but it's slowly going lower and lower. So it kind of eliminates this plus let's go ahead and go find a power cell let's go with resonant okay and let's just plop that down right there it is charging it Reasonably quick. Let's we'll see where this one's at. This one's gone down quite a ways. Okay, so I'm going to let these run for a little bit and see if it does eventually run out while it is powering something. Okay, so max input, max output. All that is there. Okay. So we are going to see if this will actually wear down either one of these. As you can see, this is going pretty dang low. So we are going to let it sit for a little bit. But I hate to say it, I think this is busted. But it was an idea. I thought I'd give it a try. But we'll be right back and we'll see how it does after sitting for a little bit. Right back. Okay, so it's official. These have both stopped charging. They have produced, let me see, 152,000 RF off of one bucket of lava and 125,000 RF. I'm not sure why there's a variance but there is well you also may have to do the fact I started this one first and then put the thing charging but fact is is no these do not produce infinite power and even if you were to let me see let's go to this one all right let's change this to output and that will cause it to regenerate power but this is going down rather quickly so once again that pretty much makes it pointless to try to run this system like this. I'm not sure how else to do it. Maybe two? Um, let's try
try that. Let's see if that's going up or down. Kind of hard to tell right now, but we will try this. And I got children yelling in the background. Hmm. Still kind of hard to tell, but we'll see what turns out of it. And as an update, you can see this one is completely full. This is a previous tutorial I did on testing power. But as you can see, these are all pretty much full. So, okay guys, sorry about that. I had to do a quick edit. My children were screaming. Now I have found a difference. Hmm, changed out the wiring, went with the heavy aluminum wire. Doesn't seem to be charging that any faster. But it is massively charging that. Okay, so let's set up our test. Set up, and we need a tank. Okay. We actually going to go twice as high. Hmm. Oh, ha <laughs> ha. Wow. All right. So heavy lead wires makes a world of difference. So I've been sitting here for a little while, well not a little while, it's actually just a minute or two, and this is going up quick. So I'm going to say this is not busted, which is a total turnaround from what I actually thought. If you'll see over here, this is struggling. But this over here, exact same setup, different wiring, not even close. It's producing massive amounts. Apparently the heavy aluminum wire is the trick to making it work. This is just insane. And this is fully charged that is not. Excuse me, Mr. Spider. Get at it. Boy, I'm telling you. You better stop. You're in debt. Oh, I so did not want to do that. Fill in my random holes. So let's try this. There, there, there. And it automatically starts going up. This is charging rather quickly. Was. Oh, because it automatically drains it, goes into there. 
Hmm. Power in, power out. Okay. So I'm guessing it just took it a minute. Wow. So everything is completely full that quick. And this massive amounts of power. Okay. So it's official. Infinite source of power. This is all very simple to make in survival. So there you go. Attack of the B team has another infinite power source. Since this went to crap. It sucks. So I like that. This is a little more technical, but hey, like I said, it works. It works very well. So thank you for watching. Who's MC? Have a great day. Bye bye. I've just been taking a look at this playing around. And as you can see, it is working really, really fast. Um, I kind of went a little bit overboard. Connected the two, added a few, eh, couple <laughs> um, machines. Yeah, this is seriously OP, but as soon as you put them on, they are full, and it's just going up quick, so this makes all of that a waste of time. <laughs> But this has been fun. Alright, I'm really going for now. Thanks again. Bye-bye. <laughs>